Hello, O-Doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and as always, I am your new guide into Odoo. Now, at Stealthy Wood, we strive to be as efficient as possible, and automating routine tasks is a great way to achieve this goal. This is why we've decided to implement some reordering rules in Odoo to better manage the replenishment of our products. Now, with reordering rules in place, we save tremendous amounts of time since we don't have to monitor our inventory levels constantly. But that's not all. We never run out of stock anymore either, and isn't that great? Now, thanks to these reordering rules, our manufacturing and our sales processes are running smoother than ever. Now, whenever a product stock reaches a set level, let's say whatever we decide, you know, if it's below that, Odoo automatically generates a request for quotation. Then our purchase team simply confirms the order, and soon the items are on their way to our inventory. It doesn't get much easier than that. But enough chit chat. Let's deep dive into Stealthy Woods database to see how quickly, and as always, very easily, we can automate purchases with Odoo. So here we are on our dashboard. Now first, let me show you how a product needs to be configured in order to actually use those reordering rules. So we're gonna open Acoustic block screen, and we're gonna go into edit. Now, once that we're inside of this product form, the product type must be configured as a storable product because it's just a requirement. Now, next, under the purchase tab, we have to have at least one vendor. You gotta have somebody that you're buying things from. And if you have multiple vendors and, you know, or prices for the same product like this, Odoo will select the first line in the list by default unless the reorder quantity doesn't match the minimum amount specified in the quantity column. And that's very important to remember. So be sure to keep a timestamp. Now, if that column isn't visible, you can always just select it via the three dots that you see right there, and you'll get the drop downs right there. Now, this amount represents the minimum quantity that you need to order to benefit from the listed price. Now, we're pretty much done with that, but finally, the product needs to have the buy route enabled right over here underneath the inventory tab. Now, once that's all in order, we can get our replenishment going and go ahead and hit that save button. Now, let's create a sales order. So we're gonna go back over here to the dashboard and we're gonna click into, well, sales and then go into create. Now, one of our customers, Deco Addict wants to buy a couch, a table, and some chairs. They probably have a dinner party going. Now, we're gonna add Deco Addict as the customer, and we're gonna add the three products they wanted. Now, what did they want? They wanted our Elite Couch, quantity one. They wanted our Elite Chair, quantity six. Wow, that's a big party. And they wanted an Elite Table, quantity one. And those tables are very nice. Now, as we can see, there are availability icons next to each product. At a glance, we can see which products we'll need to purchase more of and which products we already have sufficient stock of by looking at the icon's color. Now, a red icon means we don't have enough in our current inventory, and a green icon means that we got the green light and we do have enough to fulfill this order. Now, if we click on it, we can also view the forecasted stock availability as well. Now, let's see. So as you can see from right here, for the couch, we don't have any in stock. So we're gonna need to purchase more before we can sell any of them. So let's check over here on the chairs. And for the chairs, we have three in stock, which means we need at least three more to fulfill this particular order. And on the last one, if we click over here, over to table, we have 10 in stock. Got a lot of tables, they're popular. So there, there isn't going to be any need to order any more of them. Now let's go ahead and hit save, and we're going to, as always, confirm this. And as you will see in just a moment, not having enough products in stock is not going to be an issue. So what else do we need to do now though? We're gonna to need to manage our replenishment and our reordering rules. So we need to go over to the inventory app to manage replenishment, and we're gonna click on that here. And we're gonna go over to operations. And in the menu, we're gonna select replenishment. Now, once that we're greeted by this lovely screen, we could see that the elite chair and elite couch that we need to replenish to fulfill the sales order we just added is already present here. 
Now, first, for the Elite Couch, we're going to need to click on Order Once, which tells Odoo to generate an RFQ for this product only one time. Now, I'm choosing this option because we don't sell many of this particular couch, so I only need to purchase the quantity needed for the sales order, because you don't want your business to get overrun by a ton of couches or stuff that no one buys often. Now, for the Elite Chairs, however, we'll approach our reordering rules a bit differently. As you can see, we can set both a minimum and a maximum quantity for each item. If you leave both quantities at zero and click Automate Orders, Odoo will automatically order the exact amount as soon as it's needed. No need to check the replenishment page and manually click Order Once. It's all done just as easy as that. Now in this particular case, however, we want to have those chairs available in our inventory at all times because they are pretty popular with the customers. As I told you before, elite chairs are very popular. So we're gonna set the reordering rule with a minimum quantity of, let's do 12, it's good to have double. And we're gonna set the maximum to 24. That way we could fit four parties always. Now Odoo will automatically generate a request for a quotation whenever our stock of elite chairs dips below 12 and it will ensure that we order enough to have 24 in stock. That's pretty simple, right? Of course. Now, Odoo also provides users with the quantity option to also add a quantity multiple, which is useful for reordering products in batches. Um, for example, let's assume we may want to always order four table legs at a time, rather than just a random number. First, we we'd need to go over here, and we're gonna click on the three dots, optional columns drop down menu and through here we're going to select multiple quantity in order for the column to appear. Now whenever you're using this option however you should really be aware that you might exceed your set maximum quantity if your rule includes a quantity multiple. Since you're ordering in batches it's possible you could end up with a little bit left over. Now this may happen because Odoo will always order enough products to reach the maximum quantity while still respecting the set quantity multiple. So be sure to keep that in mind in case you end up with like two or three legs left over. But in our case, we don't need to worry about that. So now that our elite chairs reordering rule is set, we can click on automate orders. Now, if we wanted to view all of our reordering rules, we can also just remove the filters that we see up here. And this will allow us to show them all. Or we could also just go over here to configuration menu and click inside of reordering rules, and that's where we'll find them. Okay, now that we're done here, let's now check to see if Odoo has created the needed RFQs to fulfill the original sales order by Deco Addict. And we're gonna do so by going over back to our purchase app dashboard, and we're gonna select the RFQ. And wouldn't you see, as you could see, one couch and 27 chairs were added. This makes sense because we set Odoo to refill our stock to 24 chairs, plus we also have three chairs that we need to fulfill for our sales order. It's a little bit of math for you right there. Now once we review this RFQ, we can go ahead and send it to our vendor for confirmation, and then we're good to go. This quick, efficient process was made possible thanks to convenient reordering rules found in Odoo. Now, Remember, that's all for this video, and as always, thank you for watching, and remember, it's Odoo, not Odon. Now you have a great day.